Hello and welcome back to Starcraft now. Let, before we take a look at that crystal, let, better let's talk to everyone. Who knows wh where or with what we'll end up. So? I see we have a new acquisition. Is it a Protoss device? That's right. But I wouldn't mess with it if I were you. It's a Kaderan Ehan crystal. It's a memory storage device. It lets you experience what other people have seen or done. It can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yet you don't fear it at all. You're a fascinating man, Jim Rayner. You know more about the Protoss and the Zerg than any of the experts I've read about. Well, then they are not really experts. And artifact? What do what more like what can you do? Holding these artifacts is making me nervous. Can you tell me any more about them? It's interesting. The one from Zill is different than the others. However, I think all of them once constituted a single device. You mean they make something bigger? It would seem so. It's just a theory, but there's an attraction between the artifacts we've collected. A kind of harmonic resonance. Given the points of contiguous translinear alignment, I think they'd be drawn together like magnets under the right field adjustment. Okay. Well, don't adjust anything just yet, Doc. I like them aligned just the way they are. It sounds complex, so better not touch it. And so many people to talk to. Okay, Tychus. So now we've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? I got the hands full right now. The Zerg are about to invade Tirador, where Mobius' main research center is. I don't reckon we'll hear anything from them until they relocate somewhere safe. Wonderful. And Tosh, what you got to see? Had any visitors lately? I don't know what you're talking about, Tosh. Oh, I think you do, James Rayner. Something was on this ship just now. I still smell it on you. Portos. Interesting. Whatever you think you know, you just keep it to yourself. I hear you yapping about this, and I'll toss you out the airlock. Okay. Lots of folks ready to fight for the right price. Got someone new. Oh, to edit siege tanks with more health and damage. No, I mean, and news. What is it? This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion, the battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. With the new technology of the Zerg, UNN televisions. Like the TV shows would be any sense or... well. So, Horna? You ain't gonna believe this, but I just saw Zeratul on the ship. Uh, how much did you have to drink tonight, sir? He was here, Matt. And he was hurt. On the run from something. Where is he now, sir? I don't know. But he ain't on this ship anymore. He gave me an Eon memory crystal, and he was desperate for me to study it. I guess he wants me to see what he's seen. So then, to the armory? A siege tank! Crucio Siege Tank, Armored Support, Mobile Artillery. Armed with twin 90mm cannons, the Crucio is an expensive upgrade to the original Arc Light Siege Tank. The 180mm Siege Mode Shock Cannon scatters superheated tungsten in a 50% larger area. Dominion Infantry Soldiers are universally convinced that Crucio operators inflict more damage on friendly forces than on the enemy. Consequently, Crucio operators stick together during short leave. 
Okay, they are not really popular. Wendell Slovens, an early cruise operator, installed a sophisticated surround sound system into his ride. Sergeant Slovens was subsequently cut off and surrounded when he failed to hear the order to fall back. That is not a good strategy. So, Swan, any update? We're rocking some serious heavy metal now that we got siege tanks. Yes, sir. The comforting thunder of the big guns. Well, comforting when they're on our side. Yeah, these newer tanks have better guns when they're on the move. And reinforced armor. So long as they still got the range in siege mode, the rest is just gravy. Between siege tanks and bunkers, we can hold the line against just about anything. That is true. That's... See, can we upgrade them? Millstrom rounds. Plus 40 damage on primary targets. Less damage remains mostly the same. And... Let's buy it. Oh, so loud. And let's take a look at that nice crystal here. of the void are closing in. I impart my memory, my very essence, into this Gihan crystal, so that you will see what I have seen, and that the future may yet have hope. Whispers of Doom investigates Xel Naga's shrines on Ulan. Three Protoss and three Zerg research. Well, let's try it again, like always, on hard. If it's too hard, we go to normal. And I'm really curious to get a different kind of mission this time, so... Zeratul, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Friend Raynor. Has it been since we stood together against the swarm? Since then, I have wandered the void in solitude, seeking an ancient prophecy rumored to foretell the return of the Zelnaga. My sojourn led me to a remote world known as Ulan. Where I discovered fragments of the prophecy, yet I was not the first to find them. It falls to you now, old friend, to relive my memories and believe.
find your way here, eventually. Your very presence defiles this place, Kerrigan. Do you hear them, Zeratu? Whispering from the stars. The galaxy will burn with their coming. Perhaps. But you won't live to see it. Please. Our petty conflicts mean nothing now. The storm is coming that cannot be stopped. Fitting that we should face oblivion together. Never. With Space of Doom, Protoss units have shields that absorb damage and slowly regenerate, and their units are not in combat. Well, one thing that Blizzard for sure knows how to do is making nice looking CGI cutscenes or well, those kind of movie-like things, I think they are called CGI cutscene or well. And if you loading screen would load we would be as well finally able to actually have play a bit in that episode. I would be well very grateful loading screen if you would make that possible for us so come on load faster. I know that you want to do it. And we play you address me as Sarah Tool. I need to bring him well, here to the Protoss Shrine. The prophecy was divided into fragments, each kept at separate shrines. I must gather them and depart this world quickly. And one good thing about Seratul is, as a well, as a Dark Templar, he is. I well, he cannot be calling. seen since he has clo this cloaking. Is vast. It is fortunate that I can phase through the shadows to the other side. Oh, and we got Atex 3 upgrade. Oh, I like it. I. There is much to answer for. Where are My you? That roach just escaped. Well, I guess that one roach can live. Well, even though spore crawlers can detect my presence, I should stun them with my void prison. So void prison, let's stun that here. Attack everything. And that Hydralisk, and now that Spore Crawler. 
Since they will, those air detectors can detect Honor as well. Commands. But they can detect us, so we get El uncloaked. Which is... Not good. Well... So... Let's destroy it. that thing first. So then we can simply roam now first speed down and now the ultralisk down with you oh come on in the service of iron hello hello no. that spore crawler can detect me from across the chasm okay then not Behind them. Why are they all hiding? That is. There is much to hiding is not really nice. It's not fair play. Oh. That's really I'm neither, but. That overseer can see through my cloak. I'd best stun it with my void prison before crossing this chasm. Oh, okay. Oh, there, there are two. Hello there. Now that overseer, well, can see us, but can't do anything. The first fragment of the prophecy. Soon all will be made clear. Oh. Okay. Why not surrender yourself to oblivion, Zeratul? Wouldn't it be better to end your struggle now than lose the final agonizing moments of your species? The foreboding prophecy weighs heavily on my heart. I'd best reach the remaining shrines before. Oh. So much for Kerrigan's reprieve. So then, first doors. Short oh. greetings, exalted one. We are here in the service of High Templar Karas. He is nearby. Your presence is most welcome. Let us keep moving. The good thing about the about the stalkers, they can blink as well. So we can simply move our whole army I with a click. You. Permit us to destroy their defenses before we proceed. Now let's darkness. let's destroy their overseer. Then they can't see us up there. Very well. And we can be like, oh, la la, that time to shoot you all, or like. Or being a bit unfair with Sarah Trool and be beaming down, killing them. Well, not Iron really unfair. Will be restored. Let's wait on. We are one. My burden. So you are Take a. I will erase the demons of the past. Ah, great. So. Honor command. So I will be redeemed. You require me. you address me. Glory. Let's destroy them quickly. I am the voice. I will erase the deep. Damn it. Damn it. And out of the range. We Damn it. I am the voice that didn't went as expected. And now, who are you attacking? Not good. For the reckoning. Very good. 
Oh, the Ceratul. Wait, how many shields do you have? Hundreds only. That patrol of brood lords must be dealt with cautiously, or we will be torn asunder. Yes, I know that, that we need to deal with him carefully. But for stalkers, how else? Intriguing. Killing it fast and clean will be with the help of Seratul. So, why do you have so stupid patrols? No, you attack skills. Like overseer here. Thank you. you. Address me. No, need to wait here a bit. We must not hesitate. And now attack that. No, 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 Sarah. Too, you don't go to attack anything. So we destroyed that thing here, that's our crawler. You interest me. No, and you is the void. Why don't I you listen to me, units? Why don't you listen? I will erase Make a life easier for all of us here. And I would say since we had well a bit of gameplay, a lot of nice cutscenes and some talks. Let's see what the second temple will tell us in our next episode, hopefully without losing any of our units. So, oh, damn it. so see you in the next one.